Okay, so we have some news to talk about in Major League Baseball. Anthony Slifani has re-signed with the San Francisco Giants, along with Alex Wood re-signing with the San Francisco Giants. Aaron Loop has signed in L.A. with the Los Angeles Angels. The Marlins and Sandy Alcantara have agreed to a five-year, $55 million extension. And we have a lot of interest from Steven Matz as well. That's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. But before I get into this video, 85% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications, and leave a like on this video. Subscribe, turn notifications, and leave a like. And let's go ahead and get into this video. So let's start off with the Angels and them signing Aaron Loop. I thought that this was a very solid move. Loop is a 33-year-old who pitched with the Mets in 2021, and he had an absolute phenomenal year. And not enough teams, I think, were interested in him. He had a 6-0 record with a 0.95 ERA in 65 games, two started, 56 innings, 57 strikeouts, and a 0.94 whip. In 10 seasons, he has a career 21-22 record and a 3.05 ERA in 471 appearances, only 407 innings pitched, 383 strikeouts, and a 1.19 whip. He relies on the sinker a lot along behind the cutter, changeup, and curveball. He doesn't throw the sinker very hard at all, only really throwing it about like 87, 88 miles per hour. Um, and yeah, the opponents definitely did not hit good. They hit the best really versus the cutter last year, but they couldn't hit the changeup nor sinker last year. It was just, it was just really good. Um, I mean, this guy's compared to a lot of really good players, and I really like the Angels offseason so far. I think that it's been a very good offseason. Now, is their work done? By no means is it absolutely done. They still have work to do. They still have the Astros in their division, which just went to the World Series. They still have the Mariners and the Athletics, depending on what they do. But this team looks pretty solid right now. This team has a pretty solid rotation, being... Otani, Syndergaard, Sandoval, Suarez, and Detmers. And then in the bullpen, now you're looking at Mike Myers, Aaron Loop, Austin Morin, and some other guys. They definitely need to bring Russell Iglesias back. If you can bring Russell Iglesias back and maybe one more bullpen arm, I think you are in a really good position, and maybe even a starter. You are in a really, really good position to compete, and I really like what the Angels are doing so far in this offseason. Let's go ahead and head to San Francisco with the um, Giants and Alex Wood. Alex Wood, um, if I can find it, Alex Wood. Um, give me one second. So Alex Wood was a kind of breakout pitcher for the Giants in 2021, kind of like everybody was, to be honest, for this Giants team. But... Um, all right, so Alex Wood is going to get a 10-year, or a 10-year, a two-year deal that would pay Wood more than $10 million annually. This is a pretty good contract for Alex Wood, considering how solid he was in 2021 for the club. So Alex Wood was, was with the Atlanta Braves, and, you know, he was pretty terrible. He was their second-round pick back in 2012, um... And he's only 30 years old right now, but posted a very good 2021 with a 10-4 record with a 3.83 ERA and 26 starts, 138 innings, 152 strikeouts, and 1.18 whip. Just a very good season. In nine seasons, he has a career 3.50 ERA. He relies on the sinker a lot behind the slider and changeup, which are really the only pitches he has. But I think that this is a very solid move. He's can, Similar pitchers to him are guys like Sean Manian, Patrick Corbin, I mean, there are some pretty solid pitchers that he's compared to. This is a great move for the Giants, who he presumably is their number four in the rotation um, starting off next year. And that's a very solid number four. If he has a three-point-something ERA, and I mean, he's your fourth starter, you're chilling. You're, you're, you're very um, solid. And yeah. Let's go ahead and head to the next Giants move. Three years, $36 million for Anthony DeSlafani. I think this was a very good move, too. He's probably going to be the number three in that rotation behind Webb and Gosman if they can bring Gosman back. Um, but he slots in as the number two right now. He had a great year in 2021, posting a 13-7 and record with 3.17 ERA and 31 starts and 167 innings pitched, 
152 strikeouts and a 1.09 whip. He has a career 4.06 ERA with a 1.25 whip. And Diesel finally had a great year. He relied on his slider a lot behind the four-seam fastball, sinker, changeup, and curveball last year. And, um, yeah, he's compared to some pretty solid, some similar pitchers are guys like 2018 Max Scherzer, 2020 Herman Marquez. Some pretty solid players there um, that he is compared to. I like this move of Anthony Z. Scalfani. Bringing him back, I think, was a good move. They were also linked to Alex Cobb this morning, which I think would be an absolutely great move. I know people aren't going to get too hyped about Alex Cobb, but with what the Giants have done with pitching, with guys like Anthony DiSclefani and Alex Wood, who we just talked about, who they just had to pay some pretty decent money, um, that's how they develop pitchers. And Alex Cobb, I think, would be a great guy. He had a four ERA in 2021. You know, I think he could... I think he could be even better in um, 2022. Now, let's go ahead and move on to what I'm pretty sure is our final um, topic of this video. And that is going to be that um, that Sandy Alcantara gets five-year, $55 million extension. Boy, did the Marlins just finesse Sandy Alcantara. $11 million a year for a guy who had a 3.19 ERA. Yes, he did have a 9-15 record, but a 3.19 ERA, that's a really good season. We had 33 starts in over 200 innings as well. 201 strikeouts and a 1.07 whip. Um, he relies on the sinker a lot. Forcing fastball, slider, changeup, curveball. Um, doesn't use the curveball very much, but he's compared to some really good players. Luis Castillo, Anthony DiSlefani, Frankie Montas, Sixto Sanchez, who's on his own team. But this is a really solid move. The Marlins are, don't really want to spend a lot of money. And having Alcantara now up long term for a very cheap cost is very good. Now the next steps to get Taylor or Trevor Rogers and all of them um, signed up long term. But still, this gives them more flexibility in the future to have a winning ball club in Miami that they haven't had in quite a long time. And... Our final topic, actually, is there seems to be a ton of interest for left-handed pitcher for the Blue Jays in 2021, Stephen Matz. The Red Sox, Blue Jays, Tigers, Cubs, Cardinals, Giants, Angels, and Mets are all interested in his services. Now, I don't think the Angels should sign him. I think a team like the Giants would be a really good fit for him. Um, maybe even a team like the Cardinals as well, I think, would be a very good fit. I could see the Cubs making a move as well. This was the second round pick for the Mets back in 2009, and he's only 30 years old and posted a really good 2021 with a 14 and 7 record with a 3.82 ERA and 29 games started, 150 innings pitched, 144 strikeouts, 1.33 whip. He had a sinker, changeup, curveball, and slider. Those were his four pitches, and I think that this would be a good move. He's compared to guys like 2020 Trevor Rogers, 2021 Chris Sale. Those are similar pitchers to this guy. And there's a lot of interest, and I think that it would be a good move for any team, really, to get somebody like Steven Matz. I think it would be a solid move, especially if you can develop pitching. Maybe even the Rays get in on this. Some teams that can develop pitching well, like the Giants, maybe the Cardinals, they could definitely use a lefty if you're not going to go for the big lefties like Carlos Rodon or um, Carlos Rendon or um, Robbie Ray, then I guess this is a move. Blue Jays are interested in bringing him back still. The Tigers already got a lefty. I doubt they make this move. The Mets are still interested in Steven Matz. Um, but yeah. So that's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications. Because like I said, 85% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications, and leave a like. Thank you for watching, and peace.